Paranormal Girl, and today I'm going to be telling you the top 10 haunted places in the world. Coming in at number 10 is Chateau de Brisac, Maine et Loire, France. Sorry if I botched the pronunciation of that. Dubbed as the Giant of the Loire Valley, this is the highest castle in France, boasting seven floors, 204 rooms, numerous portrait galleries, and a private opera house which seats 200 people. It was a fortress built by the Count of Andois in the 11th century, and King Louis XIII dropped by in 1620. The Chateau is a popular hotel that hosts special events such as a Christmas market and tastings of the well-regarded wines pro produced from its own vineyards. Guests who are brave enough to stay overnight enjoy rooms lavishly decorated with the period furniture. The most active is La Dame Verte, the Green Lady who was apparently the illegitimate child of King Charles VII and was later murdered by her husband in the chateau in the 15th century after he caught her having an affair. She is often seen in the tower room of the chapel wearing her green dress with gaping holes where her eyes and nose should be. When not startling guests by her appearance, she can be heard moaning around the castle. Coming in at number 9 is Mont Cristo Homestead, New South Wales, Australia. A late Victorian mansion with intricate cast iron lattice work built by wealthy landover Christopher William Crawley in 1876, reputedly Australia's most haunted house. The house currently operates as a B&B, &B, bed and breakfast, offering dinner followed by a ghost tour where you can learn all about its gruesome past. Those who dare can spend the night in the haunted homestead. Take your pick. There's the young child who has dropped down the stairs, the maid who fell from the balcony, or the sable boy who who burned to death. The most active, however, is the ghost of the son of the caretaker who was found curled up next to the dead body of his mother and chained up for 40 years. Coming in at number 8 is Bangara Fort Rajathan, India. I totally botched that pronunciation. The ruins of a fort city built in the 17th century Bahangar Fort... Fort consists of fort walls, bazaars, havelis, royal palaces, and numerous temples. I botched all of that. With three grand stories, you can explore but do not be fooled by the, by the beauty of these ruins as they are ranked as the most haunted fort in India. Bahangari Fort is now an archaeological site known as the House of Ghosts. It is possible to hire a guide who can show you around the site and give you the details of its eerie past, but be sure to visit in daylight as the fort is closed between sunset and sunrise, with locals convinced that anyone who spends the night amongst the ruins will never be seen again. A wizard called Singhia and a princess called Ratana... Ratanavati, who spurned his advances. Legend has it that the enchanted oil he hoped would make her love him turned into a boulder when she threw it away, and it crushed him, but not before he cursed the palace, condemning the inhabitants to death without any hope of rebirth. Another story suggests a local ascetic cursed the fort because its shadow overpowered his property and and apparently if anyone attempts to build a roof for the fort it will collapse coming in at number seven is myrtle's plantation usa situated in the small town of st francisville northwest of new orleans is the mansion of myrtle's plantation bordered by a 125 foot veranda the stained glass front door leads to a grand foyer displaying a huge french crystal chandelier despite being known as the most haunted house in america the plantation is now a pretty bed and breakfast offering 12 accommodations ghost tours are run from the site and you can choose between daily hours or the spookier and more popular evening hours and soon a new restaurant on site will be bringing fresh and local food for visitors. With 10 people being murdered in the mansion itself, it's no surprise there has been many reported ghost sightings, the most famous of which is Chloe, who had her ear cut off by her lover. She wears a green turban, peering intently at visitors while they're in bed, and has appeared in a photograph. A more recent photo also shows another young girl, known as Ghost Girl, peering through the window of the house. More earring sightings include a child bouncing on the beds, a soldier, a voodoo priestess, and a ghost of a previous owner who was shot in the chest has been heard staggering up the stairs where he died. Coming in at number six is Dragzom Slot, Denmark. Dragzom 
Slot or Dragslone Castle, I'm so sorry, was originally built in 1215, making it one of the oldest castles in Denmark and reportedly the most haunted castle in all of Europe. In the 16th and 17th century, parts of it were used to house the prisoners of noble or ecclesiastical rank, and in 1694, it was rebuilt in a Baroque style. The castle has been transformed into a luxurious hotel with lavish rooms and a Michelin-rated restaurant serving locally sourced food. The hotel owners their what? The hotel offers their own guided tour explaining the history of the building, but for a truly terrifying experience, book a ghost tour including a two-night stay, a tour highlighting the spooky occupants, and a dinner at the gourmet restaurant. Coming in at number five is Ancient Rum in. Gl Okay, Gloucestershire, England. Built in 1145, the inn was used by priests who kept slaves and workers in there to help build the St. Mary's Church. Located in Watton Underedge, it is situated on two key lines placed beneath to have spiritual energy from Stonehenge. It has also been reported that it was a scene of a child sacrifice and devil worshipping. Despite being well known as one of the most haunted places in the world, featuring on TV programs such as Most Haunted and Ghost Adventures, the inn has changed hands several times in the recent past, making the owners difficult to track down. However, many paranormal events are hosted at the inn. It is widely believed that the redirecting of water in the ancient Ram property caused a portal for dark energy to open, meaning many ghosts haunt the inn. The witch's room is said to be haunted by a woman burnt at the stake in the 1500s as she was accused of being a witch. A high priestess has been spotted sitting on a bed. A centurion on a horseback, on horseback has been seen walking through the wa walls. The agonizing screams of a girl heard and a monk in the most haunted rooms. Coming in at number four is Castle of Good Hope, Cape Town, South Africa. Built in the 17th century by the Dutch East India Company, the Castle of Good Hope is South Africa's oldest building. Arguably one of the world's best preserved 17th century buildings, the castle is now a popular tourist attraction with three prestigious museums, a memorial to Krotoa, the leader of the Khoi? nation and an opportunity to learn more of the hidden history surrounding the castle on a guided tour. You can also eat in the restaurant in front of the courtyard and watch the key ceremony and cannon firing. The first ghost was spotted in 1915 when the apparition of a tall gentleman was seen jumping off the side of one of the castle walls and then walking between the Bastion's Lear Dam and Orange. What? Another famous ghost is what another famous ghost lady in gray was often seen running through the castle holding her face and crying hysterically but has not been seen since a woman's body was found during excavations other unexplained events including the bell and the bell tower ringing on its own accord and the ghost of a black dog that pounces on unsuspecting visitors then simply vanishes into thin air coming in at number three is the fire club Monteplier hill ireland the Fire Club was a hunting lodge built in 1925 for William Connolly, an Irish parliamentary speaker. The stones of the building are from ancient passage tombs said to have angered the devil, which first associated the site with the supernatural. The lodge reportedly became a gathering place for a small group of Dublin elites who met for devil worship. It ruins sit atop the summit of Montiplier Hill in the foothills of the Dublin Mountains. The Fire Club is a popular stopping point on a walking trail through the Dublin Hills. Ghost tours of this site are also available with the extra tours running for the week of Halloween. Tales of animal sacrifice, black masses, cloven hoof men, and murder are, are linked to the structure. The most popular tale tells of a visit by a satanic creature in the form of a man who was only discovered when one of the players dropped a card and on picking it up noticed the guest had cloven feet. On his discovery, the creature disappeared in a ball of flames. There are stories about a big black cat the size of a dog who took on a priest and haunts the lodge. The most regular ghostly visitor is a young lady believed to have been placed in a barrel set on fire and rolled down the hill for fun. Coming in at number two is Bam Bam. Springs Hotel, Alberta, Canada. Styled after a Scottish baronial castle, the 
Banff Springs Hotel in Alberta, Canada, is one of Canada's great railway hotels and reportedly one of the most haunted buildings in the country. Now part of the Fairmont chain of luxury hotels, the Banff Springs, also known as the Castle in the Rockies, still remains a landmark in the town of Banff, Alberta, and remains a popular year-round resort. There's a bride who fell down the staircase breaking her neck after panicking when her dress caught fire. She's often seen in the ballroom dancing with the flames coming from the back of her dress. A family was murdered in room 873. The door to this room has since been bricked up, but the family can still be seen in the hallway outside of the room. And former bellman Sam McCauley, who served at the hotel during the 60s and 70s, still likes helping guests up to their rooms dressed in his 60s uniform. If you try to tip him or make conversation, he disappears. Coming in at number one is Povaglia Island, Italy. In the Venice Lagoon between Venice and Lido, this small island was a place where mainlanders fled to seek refuge from invaders. In the 14th century, Veneti- what? Venetians- what? Infected by the bubonic plague were sent here to die, and when they died they were burned on giant pyras. The site was also used as a mental asylum during the 1800s where patients were experimented on and tortured. Despite nearly being auctioned off to an entrepreneur, the island remains totally abandoned and off bounds to most visitors. Even if you were allowed to go to the island, you'd be hard to find someone willing to take you as many locals won't step foot on the Povaglia for fear of being cursed and fishermen refuse to fish in the area, worried they'll drag up human remains. Ask a local and they will tell you the island is full of ghosts and cursed with unhealthy spirits. Voices and screams are often heard and visitors have reported seeing dark, fleeting shadows. Many visitors say they begin to feel an oppressive, evil feeling as soon as they step on the island. And that about concludes all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more content like this, hit the bell to be swell, slap that like button, subscribe. Wait, what? Hit subscribe, hit the bell to be swell. That concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Check out other videos and see you in the next one, aka tomorrow's. Goodbye!